Okay, question 14. Uh, we've got a cubic equation here. So we need to sub in the numbers minus 2, minus 1, uh, where are we? 2 and 3, um, and also 1 for the x numbers into this equation. So I've written all five out here, but uh, I'll show you the first one. Minus 2 gets subbed in here for x and x and x. So the equation that you would need to type in your calculator would be minus 2 cubed minus 2 lots of minus 2 squared minus 3 lots of minus 2 plus 4. Now that answer comes out to be minus 6. Make sure whenever you type a, a negative number in your calculator, you put it in a bracket. Otherwise, you're going to get your signs wrong and you'll end up with the wrong number on the end. Okay, exactly the same for the others. Um, remember to put the negative numbers in a bracket when you type it in your calculator. Okay, so the y coordinates are minus 6, 4, 0, minus 2, and 4 for those particular x numbers. Okay, so we need to plot the points. So the next question on the graph minus 2, minus 6 is a point, minus 1, minus 4 is a point, etc. Okay, so the graph will look something like this the black line. Okay, it's a cubic. It's a positive cubic, so it's coming up and then down and then back up again. Okay, so the the I've managed to plot most of the black crosses here for you to go through, and you need a nice smooth curve for a cubic. Okay, <clears throat> that's part B. Part C is this one. Solve this equation: x cubed minus two x squared minus x plus one equals zero using the graph. OK, now the graph we've got isn't that equation x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 1. It's something slightly different. So I'm just going to change that equation so it's got the one that uh, we've just drawn in it. All right, to make this left hand side have a minus 3x and a plus 4 here, I need to take away 2x from both sides of the equation here and that will create the minus 3x in there. And we get a minus 2x here because I've taken 2x away from both sides. And also, if I want a plus 4 on the end, I need a plus 3, but also plus 3 on the right-hand side. So I create the graph that we've just drawn here. Um, and then to create that, I needed to take away 2x and add 3 to both sides of this equation here. Now, where this graph is drawn will intersect where the graph of this one is drawn. So the solutions to this original equation are going to be the same as if our graph that we've drawn intersects or crosses with this graph here. So you need to draw this graph on the um, graph paper as well. y equals minus 2x plus 3. Remember, 3 is an intercept, so it's going to go through the y-axis at 3. Minus 2 is the gradient, so it's a downhill graph, it's a straight line, um, one across, two down, or alternatively, you can try a y value equal to zero, and then you'll find out where it crosses the um, x-axis at 1.5. So what I've done is I've transferred those values, intercept of 3 on the y-axis, and intercept of 1.5 on the x-axis, and I've plotted those two points here and here on the graph and drawing them up with a straight line. I've extended the red line. And what we want is where those um, intersection points are between the red line and the black line. So they cost here when x is 2.1. They cross here when x is 0 0.4. And they cross here when x is minus 0 0.8. So three answers. Are you allowed, I think, maybe sort of 0 0.2 in your answer either way as an allowance? So I've got my answers as minus 0 0.8 or 2.1 or 0 0.4.